There's a heightened awareness that comes through being on foreign land where things in your own landscape you might not see because you're so used to your own surroundings. For me particularly, there's a real awareness of that. I walk around with my own lens and I'm bringing that lens to foreign lands. A lot of the paintings are really thinking through that and speak to intersecting and overlapping experiences and history in the land as well. Some were painted during the trip to Fellas Gap, a residency out there. I would say on two occasions. They're all based on the residency experience, but a lot of them are studio based, so the big works were made back here. Personally, I can't separate visual and emotion. They're kind of intertwined. I'm really digging for like a raw response in the work. I guess that comes out in my painting process through layering but also pulling right back and scraping right back into the surface. I'm pretty obsessed with colour. I don't reference any photography for colour, so I'm purely working with my memory of colour. I'm a meticulous colour mixer and I'm really interested in subtle shifts of colour that can kind of pulse across the picture plane to create a sense of flux in the environment. The sitting in the environment and making the drawing, they're almost like notations or triggers that when I take back to the studio, they're memory lodgements or notes on a piece of paper that launch the direction of the paintings. There's a lot of air in the drawings and when I'm making painting, it doesn't fix to this exact one moment in time. There's this space and time in that drawing, which is definitely something that I'm exploring in the paintings, maybe even over an even longer period than sitting and making a drawing. It's the subtle shifts that are constantly happening. It's amazing. I'm really concerned with vulnerable landscape and our shifting and changing relationships and binding relationships to land and our really fraught histories with land as well. I wanted to lodge a congealed piece of paint under the surface of the image to kind of reference history beneath the surface of the skin in the landscape. It's that invisibility, I suppose, that's my way of putting that into the painting without words because it's something you can't really put words to. There is a real fragility and vulnerability I think in the paintings.